Is it possible to love your cat too much? To be too attached, both emotionally and physically? In today's material, I'll talk about some signs and concerns to look for that could indicate that your bond with your pet has become unhealthy. Stay tuned. If you're watching this video, there's more than a good chance that you love cats. You're either a long-time cat owner, perhaps ownership that has spanned many decades with many cats, or you're simply a big fan of felines. Not even an owner necessarily, you just enjoy taking care of strays in the neighborhood and watching cat videos. The feline love fest can be a rather colorful canvas. But is it possible to be too attached emotionally, physically? Has your love and care for your cat and perhaps even your own dependence gone a bit too far? Well, the answer to today's question is yes. It is possible to become too attached. But how does it happen in the first place? And what's it really all about? Let's first take a look at human relationships. Depending on who you are, the life you have, and the life that you have lived, so much of the bond that you have with your cat could stem from how you view the rest of the world how things are functioning in your daily life outside of cat ownership. Do you find it difficult making friends? Do you often clash with co-workers? Have you found yourself unlucky in love? It's not uncommon to find that cat ownership bonds that grow to become unhealthy can be traced back to other human relationships. Did somewhere along the line, did your cat become the main source of love in your life? Your primary source of joy and your primary source of obligation Perhaps you have turned to your cat to fill various voids. People can hurt us. People can lie. People can leave. Cats, well, as long as you handle their basic needs, most felines will grow to trust and love you. And depending on your own life, the knowledge that your cat will never do you wrong like a person could, and potentially has in the past, that can carry a lot of weight. It's also important to know that cats, outside of those basic needs, they don't really ask for anything. They're not going to judge you, call you names, break your heart. And here again, if your own relationships, friend, romantic, colleague, what have you, have always been rocky, the understanding that your cat won't badmouth you and pick you apart and pick apart your flaws, that can be just what you've wanted. When pet ownership and those bond lines begin to blur, things can become rather unhealthy. Cats bring all of its joy, and owning a cat is a special thing. But if you've placed all of your emotional needs in that basket, that's not healthy. If you've turned to your cat to fill the void left by problematic human relationships, that's when you know that attachment has gone too far, too extreme. If you're concerned, unsure, doubting, whatever you are as it relates to today's topic question, just ask yourself a few of these questions. Your cat, how much of your day revolves around your pet? Are you putting some of your own life obligations aside just for your cat? Is your cat interfering with human relationships? Are you placing human relationships aside because you value your cat more? Has the relationship that you have with your cat actually had negative impacts on the human relationships that you do have? Do you recall times where you've ditched your friends simply in order to spend time with your pet? And what about separation? Do you find yourself fearful to be gone for a long time simply because your cat will be home without you? Another question involves your daily thoughts. Are you thinking about the task for the day, your future goals, your job, your friends, a romantic interest? Or is your cat and the needs of your pet the main focus of your life? And finally, let's talk about the core of your emotions. Do you feel that your bond with your pet is stronger than most any human bond that you've ever experienced? Are you unable to accept, even for a second, a life without your cat? All of these questions, they're important, as they could indicate that you've become too attached to your pet. And while it can be easy to say that, hey, I, you know, you can never love your cat too much or become too attached, I think we all know that's not the case. Caring for your cat more than anything else and caring for your cat even more than you care for yourself, that's not healthy. There is trust, a strong bond, a strong love, but there is also unreasonable attachment, especially if the ties that you share with your cat are serving to run interference with the rest of your life. I'm aware that cats can't talk, they can't speak our language, but something does tell me that if your cat really loves you, they'd tell you to go out in the world and be the very best version of yourself. 
to take in everything that life has to offer, both the good and the bad. We all love our cats, but always remember, there's a life out there waiting to be lived and waiting to be loved. Today's topic was rather sensitive, and I certainly realize it. In the comments section, please tell me what your cat means to you. Examples of positive and healthy attachment. Has your cat given you a renewed joy for life? And has your cat, in some ways, helped you when it comes to establishing relationships with others? Has pet ownership given you the patience and responsibility to perhaps tackle new challenges in the workplace? Perhaps you've learned new patience with your very own children, simply by having patience with your pet. And let's talk about love. Sometimes pets can serve as that linchpin to romance. Did you bond with someone thanks to the bond that you have with your cat? Was pet ownership a common interest that opened new doors in the romance department? Healthy attachment can be a beautiful thing, serving to give us that extra fuel we need to take on the world and strengthen our bonds with other people. Allow your pet to be that energizer rather than your primary need. We are all better people for having cats in our lives. Now, let's take it to the streets. Our pets will thank us. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as part of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.